So this is just a quick update before I head into the gym. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, um, I've been working in some left-right technique and working on getting better at that because I've realized that if I want to go beyond my vertical that I'm at right now or the way I'm jumping right now, I think I need to create more of a balance and gain more strength in different movements and in different jumping patterns. So since I haven't really worked on left-right at all, um, I'm just I'm just working that into my training more so I haven't had a full dunk session but I'm back at the park district gym which is in my hometown where I actually grew up so I'm gonna dunk here have my best dunk session I've had here last time I only made like one dunk and it wasn't even that clean so I'm gonna go for hitting better dunks today so I'll see you guys in the gym all right so I just got in the gym it is empty again you can see behind me no one here so I'm gonna warm up start doing some light jumps and then get into some more jumping and Definitely gonna make sure this is an explosive warm up. I'm not gonna show you guys all of it like I did last time, but I'll check in with you guys during the warm up so you can see that I'm going through it intense and explosive. So, I also wanna point out in this dunk session that I don't plan on it being too long, meaning I don't plan on jumping like over 40 times or anything. I wanna keep it to maybe like 20 jumps max, hit a few solid dunks, and then cut the session after that so that way I'm not overworking my body and I'm, and I'm able to dunk again and jump a few days from now so before i feel like i would just jump too much and then i would take three to four days before i could even dunk again because of how my body was feeling from the prior dunk session so i'm gonna start warming up now and then start jumping all right so i just finished a couple the first couple warm-up exercises I'm gonna start working in some sprints now, do some more skip variations, and then start doing a few rim touches. So far, feeling pretty good though. I'm a little sore from the workouts or exercise I did yesterday, but I feel like if I just get into this warm up a little more, that'll start to go away. So I'm gonna keep going. Now I know last time I said that normally I only do left right jumping before I get into a dunk session if my knee's hurting but today I'm gonna do them purposefully just to kind of warm up that side before I start jumping more right left so just want to kind of make sure my body's completely warmed up and I'm moving in different directions so that way hopefully I feel like I'm not overworking one pattern too much during the dunk session. So this is a 10 foot rim. That was the first time I've grabbed rim cleanly with a left right approach. So I'm gonna start doing some more right left dunk attempts now. So while I'm doing this commentary, there will be times when I come in in the actual dunk session and talk about how it's going so far. But from the start, I felt really loose going into this one. I felt like I had an explosive warm up. And as you guys saw a couple clips ago, I hit my second dunk attempt in the session. We're gonna take a second because that last jump hit have you can see that bruise coming in hit the rim i don't think i've ever jumped that high in a 10 foot rim to bruise my forearm that far down so really good jump so far i feel good I'm gonna start hitting more dunks brief summary to how this first half has went I have about 10 more jumps I'm gonna do, but I feel really good. Like I don't feel any pain. I don't feel any pain in my knee. Landings are all pretty good, solid. Last time around this time was when my knee started hurting, 
but I feel like I'm just getting warmed up and these next 10 attempts are gonna be my best 10 attempts. And I'm still hitting more dunks than last time. So here we go. So as I kind of mentioned there, that was the major difference in this session compared to the last one. Was just I felt more confident throughout this whole session from the beginning. I didn't slow down after the warm up that I did. I didn't experience any knee pain to this halfway point. And because of that, I just felt more confident actually trying to jump higher. And I feel like usually if I'm experiencing any kind of pain, I'll want to slow down and not try to jump harder. But in this one, since I felt good, I felt loose, I wanted to actually jump harder. All right, almost done now. This is gonna be the last few attempts. I'm probably gonna go over 20. Be like 20, like 25. 25 full attempts where I actually jumped. But feel really good compared to last time. Like by this time, last time, I could barely land or take off because my knee was hurting so bad. Now, even though I still missed most of the attempts in the session, the main thing was that I was actually jumping higher and getting over the rim. And when I'm at that point, that is when I'm going to start to hit more dunks consistently. So as you guys will see, I hit my first two hand, which is a good sign that I'm actually getting over the rim and my jumps are back to the most explosive that they've been. Last three, I swear. I got scared and I slowed down. All right, so before we check out, measure the rim. On the back it says 10 feet, but you never know. That's why I always got to carry around a tape measure. About 10 foot exactly.